is going on guys, Tiswafa here, and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now, last time left off, we actually upgraded the house, as you can see, with the wine cellar. We need to upgrade it one more time, though, to get, like, this bonus room down there for free, apparently. As well as we bought this new table over here, and Penny's very impressed by it, because it's, like, double the size of the old table. As well as you can see, I have a fancy new hat on. That's because we actually won the ice fishing competition last episode for the ice festival, or whatever that was called. But anyways, Penny has to go to work, uh, go into town today. Eat something good for lunch, hug, kiss, there you go. Cool. Alright, didn't get any food today though, but we can go downstairs and go check about our stuff that we put in the uh, new cellar down here. And yeah, we made some more casks over here, which was a pretty good use of, was it the hardwood and regular wood, or? Oh, it doesn't show me the recipe there for some reason. Uh, cask? This stuff. Yeah, one hardwood, 20 regular wood, so yeah, that kind of incentivizes us to get down a bunch more trees to the left of our farm, and uh, you know, just kind of clean that out, as well as get more wood for more casks, so we can actually make use of all this over here a little bit better. I did get some comments saying, hey, why are you even bothering making wine? Uh, one reason is actually to get, uh, well, I just need one Silver Star wine. I thought I needed more than that. And then someone also reminded me I need to get Dinosaur Mayonnaise for this too. And if I get both of those, which we're able to get right now, we just have to wait. I don't know when we're going to get this at the soonest. I'll have to check in here just a second. But the Dinosaur Mayonnaise, I don't know how often the dinosaur like lays eggs or whatever, but uh, we can get mayonnaise pretty soon and then that, and that would be done. And then... After that, I guess we work on getting the caviar, which you guys rem reminded me saying, yeah, you can actually get the surgeon during this uh, season, so you might as well try and do that. So let's definitely do that as well. As you can see, all those gold stars down there, that's the cheese that we have going on. Because, of course, like most, if not all, the cheese that we have is a uh, gold star because our animals like have high happiness or something like that. I forget what specifically does it. But speaking of such, might as well just pet all of them real quick as well. To get more uh, cheese going as well as more mayonnaise and stuff. And yeah, we have just regular eggs right now. I don't know when we're going to get another dinosaur egg. I don't know if we could check up on said dinosaur here in just a second. I doing that. Uh, yeah, he's really hasn't been pet today, but I'll pet him here in just a second. But it doesn't say when he's going to lay another egg, unfortunately, or she, I guess. But uh, there you go, pet all these guys. You guys did say I do have capacity here, apparently, for more chickens, and I should go talk to Marnie and try and get a blue chicken from her. Uh, basically, just talk to her and be like, hey, I want to buy a chicken, and then... Uh, wait until she says it's a blue chicken. Like, if it's not a blue chicken, then I guess just cancel it and then try again. But uh, let's get some. Uh, what are we doing here? Pumpkins? I guess so, yeah. Yeah, we have pickle pumpkins right there. So I guess we'll do that real quick. So let's do that. All right, there you go. All those are going right now. Amazing. And I even got a comment from someone saying, uh, oh yeah, in regards to us having this new catalog over here, we also bought this from Pierre for like, what, 30 grand or whatever. And we got new, like, tiles, new walls over here. And actually, new tiles, new walls, like, everywhere, which is really good. Uh, kind of spices up the area a little bit more, makes it a little bit less boring and whatnot. Heckin' fish over here, which is crazy. <laughs> and we have a crystallarium there and some other stuff up there too, but that's, that's the same. And of course, we have an emergency bed there too now, so that's really cool too. But I do want to uh, go to Robin, and I think while we're there, we could actually buy a, a similar thing to that catalog, but for furniture, but it's like 200 grand or something like that. So that's definitely something we should start uh, saving up for. Maybe whenever we have all that wine done, I don't know. All right, well, let me, oh yeah, look at that, some row down here. Oh, yeah, yeah, speaking of such, we need to go fishing, yeah. Let's go f find out where to get the, the sturgeon, and then we'll be able to use that for caviar. Oh yeah, we'd have to build a, hmm. I don't think it's that good of an idea to like move these guys out right now, you know? I feel like that would like reset us. So let's pull up the sturgeon on this. So it's gotta be, where is it? There it is right there. It's gotta be like a lake or something like that, right? Uh, where is it? Yeah, Backwoods Mountain during the summer or the winter and on now until 7 p.m. So we have a pretty good amount of time. And let's check up on the, the greenhouse real quick too, see if there's anything happening in here. Oh yeah, this was something too, yeah. Our fruit trees in here are starting to bear fruit, which is amazing. So now we can actually give Emily or someone with an apricot. I forget who it was, but now we finally have one, golly. We didn't have to wait until springtime for that. So uh, let's see, this thing, fresh fruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's go find Emily and give her a heckin' apricot. And then we'll be able to finish up that mission. I don't even know when we got it, but uh, I don't even know what the reward is either. But uh, at least we're going to finish it up, right? Oh, and there's Emily. Speaking of Emily, did I put up the... Uh... Okay, I kept it. Good. Emily? Babo, finally got your apricot. Do you still need it or what? Because it's been like a year and a half. <laughs> oh, you followed through. Thanks. This looks delicious. Well, it is about as fresh as you can get. I think my hair is frozen solid. She's at eight. Yeah, 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 yeah. We should can't go up any higher because she's one of the dateable people. But we do have some stuff that we could sell. So let's go to Pierre and go sell some of the uh, random stuff. As well as uh, before I started the recording, I did get a notification saying my trash can, my silver or iron trash can, whatever it's called, uh, is done. So we can go visit Clint real quick. I don't know what the... Man, I need to go check up on what the luck and all that kind of... Well, I guess I can check my... Is Mayor Lewis going to see... Ah! Okay, we got a field snack right there. Mayor Lewis didn't see us right there. That's good. As well as... Oh, man. I've got to get another mission. 
Prismatic Jelly and Biome. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. This is just going to like repeat here for Demetrius. Uh, so I guess we could do the Prismatic Jelly one again for like the fifth time or whatever now, fourth, fifth time, whatever this is by now. And hopefully we could actually do it, but uh, for right now, I, I guess we'll just go over here to Clint, get our trash can, maybe ride the minecarts up to the, to the whatever that. Oh, there you yeah, go, we get the trash can. So how efficient is the stuff that we throw away now? Can I like check this? Uh, trash can, 45% like there, so probably get like 30% with the silver, which isn't too bad. 45%, is there an Iridium one that gets you like maybe 60%? Like 5,000. I might just do that. <laughs> just because I'm like, I've got a bunch of gold, I've got some good money. It's 1140 right now, I could just head home real quick. Iridium pickaxe. Yeah, I still don't have enough of that gold watering can. Like, the watering can isn't really even that big of a deal. We have so many sprinklers right now. It doesn't even matter, but let's just get some trash out of the trash. There you go. Yeah, let me just go home. I might as well upgrade my uh, thing again. Because I can still use my trash can even whenever it's being upgraded, apparently, right? So it's not that big of a deal. Uh, so right now we get like 30% of the materials, 30% of the money back. Whenever we throw it away, might as well get up to 45 and then maybe start working towards the heckin' 60% or whatever, right? But let's grab like five gold things. There you go. And uh, 5,000 gold, and we have 72,000 we could easily afford that, right, golly? So might as well at least get them started, as well as go visit Robin here in just a minute. And whenever we get her started on our uh, house upgrade, we'll start fishing for the heckin' sturgeon. And oh, yeah, hold on. Do we want to get that fish pond first? Or do we want to get the house? I guess the fish pond, because it's kind of time sensitive, right? Yeah. Uh, let's just go to town. Let's go get Clint started on this real quick. Yeah, that kind of sucks, though. We're not going to get that room. But it, hopefully it's just going to be a one, one, one day sort of meme. Hopefully she do it pretty quickly. But uh, gold trash camp home. Probably the most, most worthless thing you could do. But uh, hey, there you go, right? So, at least I'm getting everything up to at least gold level, right? But let's go over to the mines and uh, just head down here. And then, yeah, I said the, I think it said the mountains, right? The mountains and the woods. I'm going to fish for the uh, sturgeon. So I'll probably end up fishing over here for uh, a little while off camera too. I can get a sturgeon. I don't know how difficult that is. But my current attachment is what the fish or the, yeah, the treasure whatever the attachment that is to get more trouble. Wait, what? Where's Robin at? Do not tell me she's just randomly out and about or whatever, right? Hold on. Where in the heck is she? What? She's in Pierre's general store. What is she doing over there? I know, Abigail. You're sitting over here waiting for Robin. I'm, I'm waiting for her too. She's just shred up gone. Man, she doesn't work on Tuesdays. I don't have that written down. Oh my gosh, she does. Or she doesn't have the day off. Yeah, she does have the day off. It's written in my notes. Man, okay, whatever. I guess we'll just go fishing. I'm probably getting comments freaking out about and whatnot. And I haven't gotten any, uh, like, shimmering whatever that's called. To get, to go panning for gold or whatever. I haven't gotten that, like, at all. Either that or I just haven't been paying attention, but... Let me just go fishing here and hopefully get some stuff. Oh, whoa! We got ourselves a fish already. Now, we have that bonus for treasure, so... It's not going to help us actually getting a fish, but, uh... Wow, how'd I get a perfect... I don't even know what a sturgeon looks like. That's, yeah, it's not. Yeah, I knew I was not a sturgeon, but it is a chub. So, I guess I'll just keep fishing here, knowing that Robin's not going to heckin' be able to start world. Whoa! She's not going to be able to start world. Whoa! Oh man, I should probably go get a heckin' different tackle bobber thing, just because this is. Whoa! Whoa! This isn't really open out that much. I might as well go home and can get it. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to get it. This is, this is a pretty difficult fish here. I'm still. Wow! I got it. Is that a sturgeon? It is! Okay, good. So we have one right there. I, it, it'd help, I'm sure, to get multiple. Oh, I forgot to look at the actual sturgeons, like, thing. To see, like, what like what are the odds? Like, how many sturgeons would I need for, like, in a... Yeah, see, if I get a sturgeon again, it's going to be the more difficult one. And I, what, what is that? A perch. Ooh. 2.10 p.m. I don't know. I, I, I'm kind of thinking of getting something. I haven't even gotten a heckin' treasure chest yet, even though I have the heckin' treasure attachment, but... I don't know. I'm kind of thinking of going home. We have some... Pretty good amount of time. I can just go home and grab a whatever attachment was that the cork or whatever that makes the green bar like physically bigger and oh, whoa, there you go. I finally got some heckin' treasure. Get the heckin' chest. There you go. Oh, this is just a relatively easy fish, anyway. So, at least you got a treasure chest right there. Hopefully, whatever it is actually pays off. Hopefully, it's an actual attachment I could just use right now. Whoa, large amount of bat. Large amount of bats. And oh, three G. Uh, that's not too bad, although. I'd have to use my geode cracker for that. Clint's kind of busy for the next couple days, literally upgrading a trash can. <laughs> But uh, anyways, yeah, I guess I'll just keep fishing for right now. Whoa, we got another sturgeon, it looks like, you guys, and a heckin' treasure chest. Man, that treasure chest is going to take up some of my green bar. Oh, here we go, here we go. Not when they're... Okay, I'm going to get the heckin' treasure... There you go. Already spent some... Whoa! I spent a lot of green bar. And yeah, if we don't get the fish, we lose the treasure chest too. No, come on! Are you kidding me? Look at how... 
Okay, now now he's stable. Now he's steady. He's like, man, I gave him quite a woo. And there we go. We got him. Another stirred ling cod. I don't think have I ever caught that before. Get some two, two topaz and a little bit of wood. Honestly, not bad, but it's so difficult there. I'm, I think I'm going to get, get the heck cork attachment or whatever. Like I said, like 40,000 times. So let me just go do that real quick. Are you guys back? Nah, I just ran out of bait there. But anyways, uh, we can go back to the bus stop. I do want to check up on the heckin' TV because someone said don't miss out on the like the Queen of Sauce and whatnot or else you have to wait like two years. So I guess we can go do that real quick, see if we missed out on anything as well. Let's go check up on our mayonnaise and cheese down here. Go grab the cheese because this is goat cheese day today. So let's go do that and uh, go put that in the cask because we have plenty of those downstairs. Man, I don't have heckin' inventory space. Man, <laughs> I got to get all these fish out of my inventory, but I did catch at least one more sturgeon, which is good. And I was kind of thinking in the back of my head, do I want to get like the quality bobber that boosts the quality of the like, fish that you catch and go. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that mission. We got 600 gold from Emily. Really? All that time just to get 600, 600 gold. But I was thinking, like, do I want to get that best, better quality bobber thing and then just get a void salmon from the witch's area? This seems a little bit easier getting a gold star void salmon there, but whatever. Well, let's just grab ourselves another cheese over here. There you go. Cool. And go grab those and put them in the casks and whatnot as well as go check up on the TV and. See if, I, I don't even know if I even, did I even check up on the calendar today? I don't know. Uh, see if we missed out on like any birthdays, although it's Tuesday. I guess it depends on who it is, if they're still available right now. Hold on. Uh, okay, thankfully there's nothing going on, but Sebastian's birthday is tomorrow in ice, or what's it called? Fro yeah, frozen tier. Pretty sure we have plenty of those. If not, we, that's kind of an excuse to go down to the mines and hey, kill some slimes and do the prismatic shard thing a little bit more. Uh, oh, there just wasn't even a queen of sauce thing today though, but whatever. Weather tomorrow is going to be beautiful sunny day. Cool. Weather today was somewhat annoyed. Makes sense. We only found two surgeons, right? But uh, well, oh, geez, there's Penny just appearing out of nowhere right there. Uh, we do have five more bone fragments, though. So, hey, we can actually go throw those up here, get more fertilizer and uh, get a spoiler on what it's going to be. We're going to get tree fertilizer. OK, cool. Actually, not too bad. How's your day, honey? Good evening. My day was fine. Thanks. How was yours? Yeah, it was pretty good. I caught a couple sturgeons as well as a bunch of other random trash, uh, random fish, and ran out of heckin' bait, unfortunately. So that kind of sucks. Uh, but anyways, so what am, what am I doing out here? Oh, yeah. When, when is this wine going to be done? 13 days. Golly. I need at least just one. And then these. Yeah, I'm keeping these. Uh, so I don't know. Where am I going? Heck, I can put the. I don't know. Grab these, I guess. Put them over here <laughs> so we can put the uh, the cheese inside of them. I guess we could have a path going down because one of the pictures I shared had like a path going down like this. So there you go. I don't know where the path would start. So I guess if this this path went out, so we can go all the way out to like here or whatever, right? So yeah, we have plenty of room there. Yeah, yeah it'd have to stop like right here so we could put some like right here. Okay, cool. So we have plenty of room here. We could put a bunch of cheese like so. Put that cheese there. Cool. That's just regular cheese. We got goat cheese there and another goat cheese over here. This is just a regular one right there. So that's going to take even longer uh, to become silver. Only four days, but gold is in seven days and then iridium in 14 days. So by the end of winter time, it's going to be iridium and we're going to get more money out of it. I'm like, we're not getting that much money out of cheese anyways. Might as well get more money while we're at it, right? And we don't even need the medium amount of money for right now. So I, I could wait. I could wait and get more money later. But we do have two sturgeon though, so that's good. I'll put up all this other random trash like so. Uh, some random trash by inventory. I've got the sturgeons. I don't know. What am I going to put them here? I guess this was like the holding chest for the uh, casks and stuff. It could be the holding chest for the uh, for the sturgeon pond now. Right. But I know it's 10 p.m. Is there anything really? Am I really going to bed this early? Penny, are you surprised with me? Like what, what, what's gotten into me lately? Right, Penny? <laughs> I kind of want to see. Is there anything else I might have missed out on? I'm like, it is winter time, so there's really nothing I need to do. Chickens are a oh, yeah, I think I took care. I can go grab the mayonnaise from them. For just a minute. Nothing in here is done. I guess if anything, I just check them on the farming computer. I should probably put that a little bit closer to the farm house. That was easier to check up on, right? But uh, yeah, we have the mayonnaise in here. So I guess I'll grab that and sell that overnight and get some money. Oh, not crazy amounts of money. And then hopefully tomorrow we actually get the, the dinosaur egg again and we get dinosaur mayonnaise. Uh, I feel like it's like a once a week sort of thing, though, right? To get dinosaur uh, eggs and mayonnaise. So it'd be a week after we got these new pants. And I don't know when we got these. Oh, man, I forgot to check on the farming computer, but I doubt anything really changed here, except for maybe the tree sap tap things or uh, machines ready. One, what? It's, it's got to be tree tap then, right? Pieces of hay, we have like three something. It's got to be tree tap. If not, then, oh yeah, then we have a bunch of mahogany trees there. Yeah, it's a tree tap. Okay, well, at least we have that there, so that's good. I don't know. I guess I'll cut down these mahogany trees. Right, it's 1.30. We got worms here. 
Okay, that's just a uh, winter root. And win okay, another one right there. Okay, at least I answered any of you guys' curiosities right there. So, uh, 140? Oh my gosh! We want to make it? I don't know. Did I sell the mayonnaise? I did. Okay, good. A 150 right now. God, okay, at least, okay, I've got this bed. Uh, but we're literally married, so let's go to bed. And ah, there we go. Okay. Whew. Okay, don't need to use an emergency bed unless it's an actual emergency, right? But uh, the extra fish, we got 1,700 overnight, and the mayonnaise, we got 2,300. Okay, not bad. About 4K overnight. Day 10, though. Let's see. Do we have a queen of sauce today, or is there any? Oh, yeah, Sebastian's birthday today. Don't want to forget about that. Yeah, his birth. So let's get ourselves a frozen tier. And there it is. Oh, it's a rerun, but I'll still check in case I might have missed it. Poppy seed muffin. I do not remember this. The uh, tree fertilizer up there. So let's go grab that here in just a bit. Poppy seed muffin. Poppies make beautiful ornamental flowers, but why not make full use of the plant with these delightful muffins? I'm a huge fan of poppy seeds. They're subtle, but they add nice flavor and great texture to bready desserts. And they're healthy. Yeah, I know Penny likes them too. Poppy seed muffins right there. Cool. What about the luck and weather and whatnot? Whoops. Uh, very, whoa, Spirit's very happy today. Whoa, it's going to snow tomorrow. Ooh, how should I prepare for that? I don't know, but uh, water the cacti again. We do have some cacti fruit. So there you go. Cool, I need to fill up my watering can again, because golly, I basically never use this stuff for the heck and cactus there, right? But hey, there's my loving wife. Let's go talk to her and we'll see what happened. I have to go into town today. Don't work too hard and eat something good for lunch. Yeah, no problem. Thank you very much. And let's grab... Yeah, five tree fertilizer right there, not bad. Doubt any of the casts downstairs have made any progress, but probably going to be next episode when we see that, honestly. Uh, but we're going to go to the mines here in just a minute to go kill slimes and whatnot. I, I do, oh yeah, I need to get more, what would it be, this chest? More bait? Oh yeah, I don't need to do, whoa, I have like no bug meat. I need to kill more of those things, get more bug meat, and get more bait. Oh yeah, well, you get five per bug meat, so I can get 15 right there. Okay, that's good. Uh, now, how do you get that upgraded? Uh, oh, it's more bug meat. Man, uh, do I have any... I don't know if I have any of the wild bait or whatever. I don't know if I have any of that. Yeah, I don't think so. I'll check downstairs, see if there's anything there. But uh, if, if everything's just gold star, then yeah, I'm just going to leave it alone. I assume whatever it's silver or a uranium star. Yeah, nothing, nothing changed there. It's probably not going to change, like I said, until like next episode at the soonest. But I assume if it's iridium star, it's probably going to like bounce and like kind of catch your attention and whatnot, right? Uh, just because it's not like you really age any further than that, right? But anyways, um, just regular old milk today. Yeah, let me take care of the cows, the chickens and whatnot. And I guess we'll see if the uh, the dinosaur laid an egg today. I doubt it. It's probably going to be a little while, but I'll check. Uh, oh, well, the, the ducks laid eggs today as well as feathers and rabbits laid wool and whatnot, <laughs> which is pretty good. But yeah, no, no dinosaur stuff just yet. So that kind of sucks. But uh, there you go. I forgot to pet the cows and the goats and the, the, the pigs and whatnot. So I have to go in there in just a minute and do that real quick. All right, there you go. Cool. So. I, I guess we can go down to the mines and probably do two birds with one stone sort of memes there. Uh, whoops, tree fertilizer. Do the, whoa, that grew... Was, oh, I don't think I planted that one last night. Okay, I was about to say, that literally grew like instantly there. Like, how's that even legal? Uh, there you go, put that there. Cool. Well, I can cut down this one right here and get more uh, hardwood, which is good because you also need hardwood for the casks, so that's good. I do believe we had to spend a pretty good amount of hardwood somewhat recently for something. Uh, but there you go. Let's check up on the farming computer, see if there's anything happening. Uh, there you go. Whoa, some of the wine finished up over there. Ooh, crops ready in the greenhouse 17. Is it ancient fruit day today? I don't know. Machines ready too. I think it's only those two kegs. So maybe a little bit later today we'll get more uh, wine done. So let's see. Is it star fruit wine? I think it is. Uh, yeah, star fruit wine. I don't know. Like I have to, I have to, I have to think about it. Was it these? 16 hours, 20 minutes. What about these? Uh, whoops, this three, three days. Yeah, those are probably going to be done like literally at 2 a.m. or something like that, right? But yeah, star fruit. Uh, I guess we'll get two of those. Put those in here. There you go. And uh, there you go. There you go. Cool. And then we'll check them on the uh, the greenhouse right here. See what's happening. And get ourselves another fish pond here in just a minute too. Whoa. Okay. Some of it was coffee. And yeah, literally every single day we need to get fruit from these fruit trees here. So don't want to forget about that. So we have a bunch of. Speaking of fruit, we have ancient fruit there. Got heck and Lee. So we have a uh, silver star, gold star, regular, no star right there. Not bad. Even more right here. Amazing. And I do believe tomorrow is another ancient fruit, like Harvest Day. There's another random one right here. Don't want to forget about that. I also have an apple there, too. Cool. Did I get everything? So I get the apricot, the orange, the apple, and the cherries. Yeah, okay, good. Cool. All right, well, I, I don't know what the heck can plant there, golly. I need to think about it, but hey, at least we have a pretty good setup right now, right? But I know, let's warp back home. There you go. Yeah, I guess we'll go lay down a bunch of the heckin' fruit up in here and the ancient fruit up inside of the cakes, too. Alright, so it's 10, 10 a.m. right now. I think Robin's open right now, so let's just go over there. We have some worms. Probably going to be like a winter root or something like that, right? Nothing too crazy. Uh, or clay, okay, literally like worse than... Oh, hey, look at that, we got holly right there, okay. That kind of makes up for it. Didn't get double right there, but it is guaranteed iridium, so what is that, 160 gold or whatever right there? Can't complain. 
Let's go over to the mines. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to go fishing today. Even though do we do we do have like really good luck and whatnot, and I do have more bait. I do still want to go to the mines and get some progress done with the heckin' prismatic shard or uh, prismatic jelly thing. <laughs> Whoa! Maru heart event right here. Ooh. Oh, she has a similar wallpaper than uh, that we looked at last episode. Knocking on her door. Waffle, hi. Come on in. Look at that. She's like building robots and stuff inside here. There's something like two of them there. What was that one right there? Like an iron watering can or something like that? I've been working on a new project. Something big. Oh, yeah, what is that? Like I said, it's like a watering can or something. This is just one component. Let me show you a little demonstration. Just put your hand in here. Uh-oh. Is it going to bite? Am I going to lose my hand? And now I'm going to flip this switch. Oh, no. Am I going to become an android? Because ah! I knew it! We got shocked! Oh, my God. Are you all right? Ah, you'll be hearing from my lawyers, Maru. Oh, my gosh. Here, uh, let me apply this burn cream. Oh, yeah, you're going to get burned in court, Maru. <laughs> you're going to save that for later. Uh, I'm so sorry, says Maru. It's OK. It doesn't even hurt. You'd better be. This hurts like crazy. Uh, let's do this first one. <laughs> oh, uh, no. I'm like, I'm a farmer. I get injuries all the time. I'm kind of used to it. Yeah. Well, that makes me feel a little better then. Thanks. <laughs> what is this I can order about here? I kind of ruined the moment though, huh? Uh huh? Oh yeah, what moment? I don't even know what you're trying to show off. You like almost murdered me right there. Oh, man, I don't, I don't even... Okay, it kind of looked like Demetrius was like on the toilet right there with a the newspaper thing, but... <laughs> Anyways, community- Whoa, community upgrade! Wait, what? What is this? What's that? You want to build Pam a house? Wait... Is this because I'm married to Penny, or is this just like a normal thing that happens later on in the game? I've n- I don't even see this- What if we had the house upgrade number three? 950 wood and then 500,000 gold? Honestly, not even terrible. That's completely doable. I'm going to say no right now, though, but I was just kind of curious about it. Construct farm building shop. Yeah, so uh, down here. Oh, wait, hold on. Ooh, we finally have the dresser here, but it's birch, so I don't know. I don't want a futon bear. Oh, yeah, that's what we have. Patchwork rug. So the... Where is it on this? There it is right there. Furniture catalog. So that's going to be like the, the regular the decoration catalog, or whatever you want to call it, that we got from Pierre last episode. But for furniture, but it is 200 grand, so maybe a little bit later we'll be able to afford that. 200 grand, and then we get like literally every piece of furniture, every sort of color design and whatnot. And we're going from 750, 500, 5,000, 750 right there. Like, I guess it pays for itself after a while, but man, I don't know. I don't know if I really want to start saving up for that next. We're at 72k right now, not that bad, but for right now, I, I think we're going to build. Oh man, ah, I don't even know what reason. What do you even need to get a fish pond? I should have checked that. Stone seaweed and green algae. Don't know if we have that. Should checked. Seaweed and green algae, that might be hard to come by. But you, that is something that happens that you get whenever you go fishing, though. 200 stone, I'm pretty sure we have that. Yeah, we have 418 in the slingshot. She's open until like 5 or 6 or whatever, but yeah. I wish I remember that. You literally need resources to build stuff. <laughs> oh, man. I, I must have been still on the mind about getting free upgrades, house upgrades and whatnot. And completely forgot about that, but. I guess I go back to the town bus stop over here and hey, hey, I heard you wanted to get a house, but uh, I don't know. Give me half a million dollars and I'll do it for you. I'll, I'll get the 950 wood. You get the half a million dollars and call it a deal, right? But <laughs> let's just go over here. Let's go grab the, what was it? Five algae and five green. Yeah, see, I only have one of those. I don't even know if I have any seaweed here. I doubt I do. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, I do have the five seaweed, though. I just don't have the green algae, but does it tell me where I can get that? Algae soup, trout soup. Yeah, it doesn't say how to get that, like, on purpose, you know? I feel like I have to, like, fish very badly, <laughs> for lack of other words. Man, I don't know, maybe I can look at the real wiki real quick? Hold on, let me pull that up. Oh, well, yeah, it does say green slimes drop it, so... If I go into the mines, like, really high up where the green slimes spawn on purpose, there's a 10% chance of them getting dropped by green slimes. And then we can do, the like, a two birds with one stone sort of meme? So, I guess right now what we could do is get her started building, like, an, 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 the extra room down there, right? And then maybe next episode we'll actually have the uh, algae and whatnot for her to upgrade or to build the other fish pond, but uh, at least we have the sturgeon. As long as we have the sturgeon, I, I guess we're good to go because it seems like the ghost fish are available like year-round now. 
Uh, it's just that you can only catch them during the winter time and summertime. Oh, hey, hold on. We got a thing right here. I didn't even hear a droplet sound, but uh, what do we get? Eh, four copper ore. I can't complain about that. That's decent. Uh, we're probably going to get even more of that whenever we go to the mines in a relatively high up area, but let's just go to Robin, get their started on a, a free upgrade, getting a heckin' man cave going on, getting like space themed and whatnot here. Uh, house renovations, yes. Corner. Oh, yeah. So what is a corner room? What is an open bed? What, what do all these look like? Remove crib? I guess you can't like physically remove the crib itself. You can just move the regular beds. As a room to the northeast corner. So what would that look like? Ooh, honestly, kind of like it. Makes it a little bit more bounced, I guess you could describe it. Because it'd be more like rectangular rather than having a random wing down here. Right? But let's see what the other ones are. So that corner there, I like it. Don't know if I'm going to go with it just yet. Southern room. That, that's the one I was thinking of. Room, open bedroom. So where would that be? Oh, remove, oh, no, it just tears down the wall between the entrance room, the living room, and the bedroom. Yeah, let's just do the southern room. Now, could I have multiple of these or? Like, that looks physically bigger. Uh, Yeah, sure. Put it. Put it. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's not even as big as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Can I have multiple of these? Like, what's stopping me? It seems like it's done, like, instantly anyway, so... So is that, hold on, house end of, oh, and there it is, it says remove now, okay. Well, I don't want to do anything else, I like this setup. We have like double the space now, honestly, back at the house now, so that's actually pretty good, but, oh, I just heard another drip, and I just remembered it, because it's Robin over there, Sebastian's birthday, don't want to forget about that. Oh, we have a nice fishing hole right there, I might want to take advantage of that with the good luck, and the stir, like, wanting to get sturgeon. But I just heard a drip. Really. Oh, there. Oh, man, it's all the way over there. But I don't think you have to be next to it, you guys said. Man, but you have to be somewhat close to it, I guess. Golly, it's going to go away pretty quickly. Ah, whatever. It's probably just more copper. Whatever. Uh, let's just go over here. Go grab a frozen tear. I doubt we're going to find it in the mines itself. Uh, I'll just go grab a frozen tear over here. And we'll give it to Sebastian. I feel like he's like in the middle or maybe even low on our friendship list. So it's actually going to help out quite a bit to give him something. And let's go grab the uh, frozen tear and whatnot and go give that to Sebastian. Bro, oh, jeez, yeah, look at this. Hold on. Oh, I never even fixed the zoom from, like, three episodes ago or whatever that was. Uh, there you go, frozen tear. Uh, so here we go. Oh, wow, yeah, look at this. This is amazing. But the room isn't as physically big as I thought it was going to be, but it's still, honestly, it's still pretty good. About the same... Eh, it might be a little bit bigger. I don't know, they might actually be the same size, but maybe the perspective is making it where it's kind of weird. Man, let me... <laughs> I don't know, where, where was the, uh... Where was the zoom previously? 150% or something like that? I don't know, was 125? I guess, I don't know, it, it looks like it might be fine. <laughs> but anyway, so where is Sebastian at right now? Is he, uh, okay, so he's, he's in Robin's house. Golly, I'm going back and forth and back and forth over here like crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've been to Robin's house like three times a day now. Is that fishing whirlpool? Is that still there? If it is, I, okay, I might, I might actually go fishing there. Because like until five or seven o'clock or what? Oh, another drippy sound right there. So hopefully it's in a better location, but. I assume Sebastian's down in his bedroom. Let's go down here. Let's go get one of frozen tears. We're pretty sure. Oh, wow, we got a friendship event with him. I think this might be the first time we ever had it. Hey, how's it going, Sebastian? What are you doing down here? Oh, hey, <laughs> give me just one sec. Hey, what are you doing? Working on something? Playing a game? He's busy. I should leave. Stay put. Okay, he said just a sec, so I'll just stay put. There you go. I'm like, it is his birthday. I don't want to be too rude to him. And I do have a present, too, so... Okay, uh, sorry about that. I just needed to finish what I was working on. Man, no problem, Sebastian. It's cool he's got like two computers down here. You could have a LAN set up and whatnot. Ask him what he was working on. Compliment the decor of his room. I like, I literally just did with the two computers and let's do that. He's got like posters and whatnot over here. Decorations. Uh, oh yeah, I've been sticking posters on the wall for years. I guess it's kind of cluttered. Nah, at least it's better than nothing, right? Better than bare walls. Oh. That was an instant message from Sam. I guess he wants to hang out. Ugh, I really don't feel like going out today. Oh, there's Robin, whoa! Oh, hi, Waffle. Oh, hi there. That was my old intro from like literally 10 years ago. Sebby, <laughs> Sebby? <laughs> I need to start calling him that. Sebby, I know you don't like it when I come in here, but I ran into Abigail at the store and she said she was looking for you. Well, yeah, why? Is there something going on between the two of them? Did you tell her I'm working? Says Sebastian. I did, but she said she'd probably stop by anyways. Ooh, that made Sebastian angry. Or Sebby angry. <laughs> <sighs> no one takes my job seriously. What job is that? No one ever bothers Maru when she's working at the clinic. Does everyone think I'm just surfing the web all day? I'm like, you literally were 
just talking to Sam or whatever on instant messenger. So I don't know. Kind of sounds like it. Ask him what about it. Why he doesn't want to see his friends. Uh, what about his career? I'm curious. Like, what is what is he even doing? Like, is he working on like spreadsheets or something like that? <laughs> or like trying to be a YouTuber or something? Well, I'm trying to save up so I can move out of here. Probably to a city or something. Oh, that's interesting. You know, if I'd gone to college, I'd probably be making six figures right now, but I just don't want to be part of that corporate rat race, you know? I can't get it. Well, and I guess I just feel more comfortable hidden behind the computer than dealing with people face to face. Honestly, I kind of get that. Well, I should get back to work. I need to get this module finished by tomorrow. Ooh, what is he coding or something? Ooh, interesting. Well, anyways, I'm like, it is his birthday. Just let him do whatever he wants to do, right, Robin? I don't know if that has to do with anything with the cutscene there, but uh, hey, I'm going to walk back into your room anyways to give you a frozen tear. You remembered my birthday. <laughs> I'm impressed. Now, where is he's at five out of eight hearts. Like I said, he was like midway through. I think this is after giving him the gift. So I wonder if he was like three or four, like kind of low down earlier. But anyways, hey, there we go. I think that's the first time we've ever actually been in his bedroom before. So that's actually kind of interesting there. Whoa! Is that Sebastian right there? I think it is. Does he drive a motorcycle? It is! Oh, hello, Waffle. Yeah, I think, I think, so the first heart event must have been in his bedroom. And then after that, it's like outside. Now we're finally, we're getting like two heart events like stacked on top of each other right now, right? Oh, hello, Waffle. Hi, what are you doing there, Sebastian? Didn't know you rode a motorcycle. What? You haven't seen my motorcycle before? Heh. <laughs> I guess I haven't shown it to you. Yeah, you yeah, haven't. I didn't know. I, I didn't know what was inside the heckin' garage because no one drives cars around here, right? But I guess that kind of makes sense. You know, sometimes after sundown, I like to make the long ride out of Stardew Valley. No, I kind of get that. There's nothing else like it. Blazing along the empty stretch of road toward the faint city glow. Yeah, I get that. Nice peaceful drives at nighttime. Or like, like, like sunset time. I honestly, I, I do that myself too. It's not, not as much recently with the heck gas prices and stuff, right? But still. <laughs> Once I've saved up enough money, I'm going to head out on my own. To the city and beyond. Just me and my bike. Does he have a bike crew? Like a biker? Oh, what was that? What's happening? Oh, there you go. Oil's changed. Oh, it's just changed the oil. I was wondering, like, what happened right there? Is it like spilling on his face or something right there? <laughs> But I guess it was just draining the oil. <laughs> hey, maybe I'll let you ride sometime if you want. Yeah, that sounds fun. No thanks. That sounds stupid. <laughs> I'm scared of motorcycles. Yeah, that sounds pretty fun, honestly. There you go. Cool. Great. Oh, I guess that's the end of that. Now, do we have a third heart event here, though? Because he's at five hearts, and I don't think we ever had one before. So, I wouldn't... Oh! If there is, then whatever. We're not in the right spot for that, though. But, yeah, I, I did say I wanted to fish, so I don't know. You know, taking advantage of that thing right there. So let's see, what is this one? Okay, we got another. this. Okay, so we have a, I forgot what it was, but you need at least three sur- Oh, wow. Yeah, so you get it. You get a hit like immediately here, which is crazy. But uh, you do need three surgeon to get like some sort of better chance of getting row or something like that, right? Oh, I don't know if you can hear me in the background, like smashing that. Oh, we got a fourth one. Oh, man. I want to check. Three of them, we get a 40% chance of row. Yeah, that's good. With six, we get a 60%. So we have- Four right now, I think. If we get nine, that's a eighty percent. With ten, that's a hundred percent chance, and then a twenty-five percent chance of getting double, which is really good. So, with today's heightened luck and and, and this like little whoops, why am I facing the wrong way? Man, with our heightened luck today and, and this like little bubble thing right here that like gets an instant hit. Oh, look at this! I think I'm going to go until like seven p.m. Honestly, I guess I just keep fishing for a couple more hours. I'll let you guys know if I catch any more. Well, hey, that's actually good. That's that's kind of what we're wanting to get, anyways. That's why I was going to go to the mines. Go to like. Oh man, another one! Amazing. Uh, Robin closes. Up. Oh whoa! Ah, oh, we got an actual fish right there. Whatever. We're up to three out of the. Uh, oh man, even a uh, thing right here. Probably another chub or whatever. Oh. Okay, we got it. Cool. What is that? Oh, a bowl. Oh, okay, cool. Bowl head and treasure chest. With a geode, cool, not bad. But we have three out of the five green algae, I think. So we're making some progress there, which is good. But uh, let me just keep fishing here until like 7 p.m., I think. And I'll see you guys here in just a bit, and I'll let you know if I catch any more of these sturgeon. Oh man, got another green algae, we're up to four right now. But uh, like I said, I'll let you guys know if I get a fifth green algae or if I catch more sturgeon or whatever else. So I'll see you guys, oh man, hey, speaking of such, hey. How many is that now? Five, two, three, we have two at home. Yeah, we're up to five right now, amazing, we need six to get a 60% chance, I think. 
So that's actually pretty good there, you guys. Not bad. Oh, man, you guys. I just got a treasure chest with a dinosaur egg inside of it. We don't have to wait until, I don't know, whenever the dinosaur lays another egg. We can just go make another mayonnaise right now and then use that to donate to the uh, Jojo Mart thing. And by the way, my, my whatever. Oh, man, I'm out of bait, too. Whoops. Uh, although I think I just got a bait, but... How am I catching a fish if I don't have any bait? Well, hey, let's get the treasure chest here. Awesome. I get this. Uh, but yeah, I don't have the cork anymore, so my green bar is smaller. So yeah, I think I'm going to have to end this a little bit early here, unfortunately. So that kind of sucks. Uh, didn't get another green algae, though. So, man. So uh, I, don't, I don't think we're going to get Robin to build a heckin' fish pond anytime soon. Unless we find it in the mines, like, immediately. But uh, yep, there you go. Got it. And another sturgeon. Awesome. What are we at? Six now? I forget. Eh, coal. Honestly, not terrible. Yeah, we're at six. Awesome. So we have a 60% chance of getting a uh, row every single day, I believe, right? Whoops, that was the wrong button. This. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So a six of them with a 60% chance. Awesome. I need to get three more to get another 20% and then one more to get 100% and then a 25% chance of getting double. Cool. Well, we still have the rest of winter to do this, as well as, like I said previously, they do just like, like, like multiply on their own and whatnot, right? So, yeah, it's not that big of a deal if I don't catch them. Starting at six is still really, really good. All right, let's go to the mines. Uh, I don't know, 20? Level 20? Hopefully find some, some... Oh, wait, hold on. Is this the... Oh, at least I can... Okay, at least I can kill these guys. Get some bug meat for more bait and whatnot. That's good. I needed some of that. And, uh... Let's see. Ah, some quartz right there on these guys. Yeah, these guys... Oh, yeah, I forgot. Boom! Yeah, the hammer's going to be amazing against those maggots. I forgot about them, you guys. I'll go through the mines real quick. You guys have seen me do this a billion times. I'll, I'll let you guys know if anything interesting happens if I come across any more. Wow. Hey, look at that. There's a green slime right there. Am I going to get anything from you? Killed you instantly. Got some slime. Didn't get a green algae, though. Only 10% chance of them dropping it, though, like I said. So kind of sucks there. But uh, boom, just kill both of those egg and maggots. Remember when we had trouble with those things? Now we just kill them in one shot. Both of them at the same time in one shot. Amazing there. Oh, hold on. This is one of those slimes with a thing on his head. So he's supposed to be more difficult, but... Windspire? Yeah, he's supposed to be more difficult, but he deals more damage as well, and then he drops a loot, but I, I guess for this level that kind of makes sense, but it kind of sucks because, you know, it's kind of worthless to us now because we have a heckin' galaxy sword and a galaxy hammer, right? But anyways, let me just go back to the mines here and kill more green slimes and other stuff, and I'll let you guys know if anything else interesting happens, especially if I come across a heckin' prismatic slime finally, right? Golly. Oh, man, I think. I think I just saw. Yeah, there's another one right there. Amazing. Huh. Did some good damage to him right there. Woo! He dropped a four sword right there. Yeah, that, that would have been good. Whatever I was in this area the first time, but yeah, really sucks. I don't know. Maybe I should have gone to the skull cavern, but it was already like 5, 6 p.m. or whatever at the time, whatever we got here. So Pam already left the bus stop, so that kind of sucks. But yeah, as you can see in my inventory too, at my hot bar, still no luck getting that last piece of uh, green algae there. I did get a white algae, but no green algae, unfortunately. So I don't know. I'll keep looking here for more green slimes and whatnot. But it seemed like I had more luck getting green algae from fishing compared to getting them from the, the green slimes. Yeah, I had no luck getting any green, green algae down there, unfortunately. Man, I guess we'll head home, maybe end off the episode or whatever. But hey, at least we got some pretty good fishing done. We haven't done fishing in a little while, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that today. Yep, there. Okay, yeah, there's the dinosaur egg right there. So we can go put that inside the uh, the mayonnaise makers and whatnot. And then in the morning time, we'll actually get ourselves a uh, dinosaur mayonnaise we can put inside of the lost, uh, whatever it's called. Yeah, so now we have one piece of bait right there. Lost, uh, missing bundle, that's what it's called. And then off the, after that, we just need to get the uh, Silver Star wine, which 12 days away still. And then uh, the caviar, which we're uh, actually starting to work towards right now. Hopefully next episode, we can actually get that last piece of green algae and get, uh, whoops, that was the wrong spot. Actually, get Robin to start building that uh, fish pond. I don't know how many days it's going to take for her to build that, but getting a head start with six sturgeon already, that's still pretty amazing, guys. And then I'll get the dinosaur mayonnaise started down here, but I'm probably not going to grab any of the. Uh... There you go, cool. Let's get the dinosaur mayonnaise started there. And then uh, in the morning time, we can grab the mayonnaise and just sell it to Pierre or whoever, right? But yeah, wow. Had some really good progress there so far, you guys. Not bad. I'm getting like four or so sturgeon. Now we're up to, yep. Boom, now we have six of them right there, starting out with six. That's honestly pretty heckin' good. I guess I can put the green algae and all this stuff up inside there, at least for right now. I don't know how much stone I need, but I'll put a bunch there, just to kind of symbolize. Yeah, you need stone for this, too. And, like, 5,000 gold or whatever, too, but, uh, eh, we can do that, no problem. 140, don't know if I have enough time to head into the basement and put that cheese down there, but, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll grab a bed. <laughs> and maybe I'll grab the emergency bed, and then we could use that if I really need to use it, right? But, uh, let me just put up some of the other trash up in here. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, I don't know, grab the, grab the bed. Let's go downstairs, it's 150. Now, can I actually sleep down here, though? I can't! No! Man! Oh, no! Grab the cheese and put it... Oh, man, we have no barrel! No, man! 
Oh, I, I thought maybe some of these barrels were unused, but man, we actually started using a pretty good amount of- Whoa! <laughs> uh... What? What is- <laughs> What is she doing? What did the witch just do to my coop? Did she do something to the coop or did she try and do something to the ground outside the coop? I don't know! We got 6,300, we got 7,600 gold overnight though, which is pretty good, and now I'm gonna wake up with like, half stamina or whatever, but I have, I have enough food and whatnot to take care of that, it's not that big of a deal. And then yeah, we have all this uh, upgrade over here, my gold trash can is ready today, ooh! That's gonna tell me anything about like, the witch thing that just happened, living off the, is this guy gonna tell me what happened? Fish for you, cat, you're not gonna tell me about the witch, the wizard's ex-wife or whatever? <laughs> Fish focus, catfish. I'll read this next episode. I'm going to have to end off this episode right here. Golly, it's long enough. Uh, weather report is snow today and uh, more snow. A few inches of snow tomorrow. Golly. Does that actually affect anything? Like, does it make it where I can't move somewhere? Very happy today. Ooh, hopefully I can get more of that uh, green algae and whatnot. More fishing spots. Get more sturgeon and whatnot, right? But yeah, I, I need to go down there at the beginning of next episode and put the uh, cheese down there. But we should have the mayonnaise done now, right? Did she? Hold on. Did she steal the mayonnaise? Is that what she did? As far as I know, no. Because we have the dinosaur mayonnaise right there, we'll be able to do this next episode. And... Wait, hold on, wait, what? Wait, why is there a void egg right there? It should've got picked up. Did she steal? What happened? Like, I'm looking around like, am I missing any animals? There's just a random void egg right there and didn't get picked up by the auto grabber thing. I'm so confused. I feel like something might have happened to the actual ground itself, but because it's snowing and... Winter time, like you can't physically see anything change there. We got more goat milk today. Get more goat cheese and whatnot next episode. Awesome there. But uh, yeah, now I'm super confused. I'm going to like look up a witch's overnight visit event and see like what what should have happened there. But uh, once we get the other other fish pond, I guess I'll put it like right here. That way it's kind of I don't know. Maybe like right here. That way we can still use all this area down here for more farming and stuff. I don't know. I'll think about it next episode. But uh, until then. I just saw just end off this video right here and yeah, more fruit and whatnot uh, from all four of these trees. So we have to get used to coming over here literally every single day to grab the fruit. But uh, George randomly giving me stone. I don't know why, but uh, thank you very much, George. Anyways, where was I in the outro? Probably didn't even say anything. So anyways, <laughs> thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know. Oh man, yeah, a bunch of the wine finished up. Be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button and when you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Stardew Valley comes out so you can figure out like what happens with that witch's visit and all that kind of stuff. We can go donate the dinosaur mayonnaise, uh, getting one step closer to getting the sturgeon like roast or caviar. We, we get the fish pond going for the sturgeon, all the kind of jazz. Probably going to kill more green slimes in the mines and try and get the heckin' prismatic jelly down there too. Although I feel like we have more luck or more chance, more likelihood of finding a prismatic slime in the Skull Cavern, because I feel like we come across more slimes in general down there. I feel like I only came across like a half dozen slimes in the uh, regular mines just a minute ago, so. Yeah, probably next episode, especially because we have such good luck today. Uh, we have like very good spirits, we're very happy or whatever it said. Yeah, I'll go grab whatever that other piece of food was that increased our luck. Oh yeah, spicy eel or one of these other things, Dish of the Sea. I forget what it was. Uh, but one, one of these things, we're going to increase our luck. I don't know if Miner's Treat was stacked on top of that. Uh, but we'll increase our luck with the uh, Spicy Eel alongside the Lucky Ring or whatever. Yeah, we still have that. Uh, maybe I'll go to the mines and actually go grab that uh, Vampire Ring. So we can actually uh, wear that alongside the... I don't know. I'll have, to, I'll have to think about it. Do I want to replace the Lucky Ring with a Vampire Ring or replace a Magnet and Glowstone Ring? I don't know. I like to do a little reading first thing in the morning gets my brain in the gear. Oh yeah, that's why I married you there, uh, Penny, but uh, anyways. I already did the full outro, this video is probably super long again. Either that or I'm splitting it into two episodes and this is the middle of another episode, I don't know. But uh, we'll figure it out next episode, so until then... <laughs> oh, a train! Whatever, I'm getting distracted. Until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, bye there. <laughs>